Now weather with meteorologist Beth Finello. Good morning and thanks for joining us and happy Friday. Yesterday was a beautiful day. We had lots of sunshine. We had temperatures top off at 58 here in Springfield, 60 down in West Plains and 62 down in a mountain home and we're still below average for this time of year. We are just slightly below average though and we've been below average really pretty much the whole month of March. We started off March cold with temperatures topping off in the 30s and even in the 20s. We've only had seven above freezing days or above normal days and about 14 below normal days. Good news is today we'll be back up in the 60s. Temperatures right now 33 degrees here in spring. Springfield, and we've got temperatures pretty chilly out there. 34 in West Plains, 36 in Branson, and 39 up in Rolla. Things are quiet right now, but we've got these clouds just off to our west, and that is ahead of our next system that will come in through the weekend. We'll get to that in just a second. Today, we're going to have this high pressure make its way through the Ozarks. We're going to have a front come in. It's going to be very quiet, not going to be a rainmaker, not going to change anything in temperatures. But again, notice off to our west, we've got those rain chances coming in from the that storm that is brewing right now over the four corners. Radar is quiet just to our west. There's that storm I was just talking about that is spinning over the four corners. And we've got this storm up in the New England states as well. Now, that storm really ate up a lot of the Gulf moisture across really the entire United States. Here in Springfield, things are pretty dry, but Gulf moisture will have enough time to make its way through Louisiana, up into Arkansas, and eventually back up into Missouri before. Before that system makes its way through the Ozarks. Today, lots of sunshine. Temperature is going to top off in the middle 60s here in Springfield, shooting for a high of 65 degrees. Through the overnight, things will be quiet. We'll see those clouds increase, and we could see a shower or two, mainly in our western counties. Now, we'll start off the day with clouds across the area, and then those showers will make its way later through the afternoon and then through the overnight hours as well. We are going to continue to see those showers develop through Sunday as this low pressure system continues to move east. Sunday looks like the day where we could could see some active weather. We could see some thunderstorms, some lightning, maybe some gusty winds, and some small hail. After that system moves out, we'll have that high pressure come in, bringing in some sunnier skies and warm te or warmer temperatures. Notice how the winds also very gusty Saturday. That will continue into Sunday as well. So here's what you can expect. A couple of showers and thunderstorms, mainly through the overnight hours on Sunday. Now, this system doesn't have a whole lot to work with, but there is enough instability. There will be enough wind energy for a couple of these storms to become strong to severe. While the threat looks low, it is still something to keep an eye on. Those main threats will be small hail, damaging winds, some heavier downpours, and some cloud to ground lightning. Saturday, Sunday, and a little bit into Mondays when those rain chances are. Thir Tuesday and Wednesday will be quiet. Thursday looks like another peak of some rain chances. We'll have some cooler days Monday and Tuesday as that high pressure slides in. We'll get to see some sunshine, but those cooler temperatures. And then we're back up in the 60s by Wednesday and Thursday. Today, shooting for a high of 65 degrees, lots of sunshine. Overnight tonight, temperatures dropping into the upper 30s and lower 40s with increasing clouds. Tomorrow, those showers do arrive late with temperatures only topping off in the lower 60s. We'll have that chance of some showers and thunderstorms by Sunday.